also been a revolution in surgical approaches to lowering pressure. The conventional gold standards in surgery are the trabeculectomy operation, which creates an artificial drain on the surface of the eye. This is the upper eyelid that's been lifted out of position to show a channel that's been made through the wall of the eyeball, draining fluid from inside the eye to the outside surface of the eye under the conjunctiva, which then becomes swollen. We call it a bleb and drains fluid faster than the person's drain is able to work on its own. And that's what holds the pressure down. When that doesn't work, or in certain kinds of glaucoma where it's unlikely to work, there are a variety of these glaucoma drainage devices which have a tube that goes into the eye and a reservoir under the eyelid where the fluid drains. And there is the, res the tube inside the eye going to a reservoir that's under the tissues, under the upper eyelid. And that's the conventional pr approaches that have been around for a long time and they can be very effective. However, they are not entirely predictable and they can have significant complications, which is why we don't go to surgery before medications and before laser techniques. However, there is now a mushrooming of so-called mini shunts or minimally invasive glaucoma surgeries. It's called MIGS for short. And these are little devices that are really almost microscopic that are inserted into the drain of the eye to bypass parts of the outflow pathway and allow fluid to exit faster and therefore pressure to be lowered. And these devices are all being tested around the world, including in Australia, to see which patients benefit at which stages in their disease most effectively from them to justify the costs that are associated with using them. So this is very much a project that's still in progress, but we are getting there and it's looking quite promising. Bill Morgan from the Lion's Eye Institute in Perth has been very closely involved in the development of one of these devices called the Zen which is inserted from inside the eye through an injection under the microscope, goes through the wall of the eye and drains fluid like a trabeculectomy into a drainage bleb and is therefore when it works, which it does very often, very effective in holding pressure down low for a long period of time and may be a way of getting good surgical results without the same complication risks that trabeculectomy offers. And these are Bill Morgan's figures showing the drop in pressure maintained over a seven-year period.